So Harry and I have got together, we thought that we would do just a little straight punch um, circuit or a little straight punch and a warm up so we can just practice some of our straight punching skills. It's not to get a sweat really so much as it is um, just to work on some of our technique, some of our timing with our hands and feet. So, should we crack on? As, right, so we're just going to have our stance. So we've just got a nice basic stance and we're just going to get our footwork. So let's just get used to step one, two. So we step forward and then step back. So we don't cross our feet, we don't cross our feet, we don't cross our feet. Now let's go backwards. One. So back foot moves, make sure you move your head. Two. Three. And make sure the heel stays up so you're ready to spring back. Don't hit the heel flat. Four. All right. So we've gone forward and back. Now let's go to the right. So foot moves, make sure you're loaded, foot comes in. Two, three, four, five. Now let's go to the left. Make sure weight goes into the right foot as your foot comes out and move. Don't pull your weight in. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice, so we've got forward, right, uh, forward, back, right, and left. Let's go back into our stance. So, let's think about that now. We're gonna go forward and we're gonna just work on our jab. But to start with, let's not go forward, let's just work on our jab. So, yep, hands nice and straight. Weight travels into the back. Turn the hip and push the punch. Make sure it's nice and straight, hitting with your knuckles. Now remember about the push-pull. Don't just think about one hand, pull the other. So, one. So you notice the whole body is turning. Don't turn your head away, keep it into your shoulder and make sure that you twist off the centre. Don't pull your weight backwards because the shot still has to work. Okay? So let's just look at this slowly. If Harry throws out a jab, so throw out a jab first. Right, one. So you'll notice that the shot power is going back down to his back leg. If Harry was leaning backwards, he's going to get popped, isn't it? We can clearly see that, can't we? So, when we throw the shot, make sure we stay on the centre so the power transfers to the leg, not out the shoulder. Because any time you impact something, it will recoil. So, guard up, let's throw the jab. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Now let's put that with the step. So we're going to step. As we step, hip opens, boom, throw the jab. Make sure everything turns and the head stays on centre, doesn't lean back, so that the shot drives through. Okay, nice and simple. One, boom, guard comes up. Two, three, four, five. Lovely. Let's send that backwards. So now, weight's going to drop and we're going to turn into the back foot. Use the gravity. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice. Let's hit to the right. So as we step on, the weight turns, and we have the shot. So one and up. Two, three, four, five. Now let's go to the left. One. So watch the time is hand, front foot. The same as when we go forward. One. Two, three, four, and five. So now what we've discovered then is that the hand is the same timing forward as left. Okay? The hand is the same timing backwards as right. Okay? Good work. Let's go up. So we've got a jab, and we've got it going forward, back, right, left. Let's just put it in a simple four pattern. So we're going to go forward, right, back, left. Let's try. And we're going to just do it four times. Ready? One, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four. There we go. Awesome. Let's now go on to the cross. So, for our guard, we're going to fire the cross. Now, let's think about that. 
If Harry throws out his jab, uh, where's the camera, mate? Right, Harry throws out the jab. Look there, how much twist do you throw on your jab do? Boom, look at that twist. So he's almost side on. So if you had an Adidas strike, see that? There you go, he's got a nice line there. So when he throws his cross, see, look, see how we can see the strike again? So he's got to make sure he twists. He doesn't want to cut it short. Okay, and he's still got his hand up. Right, so, if we hold our stance, and you can see where I've got a physical line on the floor here, let's put our guard up. Right, so, we throw the cross, one. Now you see, we turn it over, make sure the knuckles aren't up, they're straight, so the impact runs down the arm, chin into your shoulder, nice and straight, and power is going to recoil back to the floor. So remember, power always goes to the floor, bounces back up. So let's go back into our stance. And let's, no step, throw the cross. One, two, three. Now we can twist on the foot or lift and turn. Lift and turn. Now watch this. You've got to use your breath with your gravity. Okay? So, one, two, three. Four, five, now push pull, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Now, let's put that with our front step. So, front foot moves. Now, you think about that. If Harry's going to put a right on my jaw, so he throws across, boom. That's wonderful. Now, let's say, now look. I want to throw across on Harry, but I'm outside the pocket, I'm outside the range. Do I step where he can hit me, now I'm in range, or do I, as I step, bring my cover up? Bring my cover, then throw the cross. So if you can, bring your cover up. So let's go into go. So as we step, on the front step, one, bring your guard up. Now you'll notice, when you bring your guard up, that again, you can't be backwards. Because anything pushing is going to break your balance. So imagine you've got pressure holding you here, and you're turning your hips to maintain that strength. Now your back foot comes up, whatever your front foot stood, and you fire your cross. And then straight back to guard. Let's look at guard quickly while we're here. If Harry is here, when I hit him on the left, his balance is going to go. So he wants to lead off his shoulder so that he's strong in his stability. So every time you fire your cross, you must come back so that your shoulder is leading. So let's step forward with the cross. One, boom, two, boom. Now you could break it down. One, two, go. Even into three, and bounce. One, two, Guard and bounce. One and bounce. Two and bounce. Three and bounce. Right, let's send it backwards. Same difference. Step back, bring your guard up. He's hit you. Boom. Even if he hasn't, it's nice to be safe. You're better off putting your shield up than you are just leaving your head there. So let's go back. One, boom. So let's break it down. One, two, three, and relax. Again, one, two, three, and relax. So all together, we're gonna to go forward again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go backwards. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Awesome. Now let's step it to the right. We'll go right. And comes boom. Bring your foot in. Boom. There's your cross. Back to your guard. So one, two, guard. Let's go again, Harry. One, boom, boom. Two, boom, boom. boom. Let's go to the left. When we go to the left, foot steps out. Right foot steps in with the punch back to the guard. 
Let's go again. One, four. One, two, go. One, two, go. One, two, go. Let's step to the right. One action. One, four. Two, four. Three, four. Four, four. Five, four. Step to the left. One, four. Two, four. Get your bound. Three, four. Four, four. Hey, there we go. So you see, we're triggering fire. Big trigger, fire, boom. Trigger, boom, fire. That's nice. All right? Now, let's put that on a four pack, which is going to mess with us a little bit, but we'll go slowly. So we're going to go forward, right, back, left. Let's try. Forward, one, boom. Right, one, boom. Back, one, boom. Left, one, boom. Let's do it again. Back, boom. Back, boom. Back, boom. Back, boom. And again. Hey, hop. Hey, hop. Hey, hop. Hey, hop. Good. There we go. Let's now put this together with the jab and the cross. So let's put our stance up. Make sure that we've got a nice angle. Now remember, when you're standing in your stance, make sure your centre line is covered. Right, so we can clearly see, Harry's got his guard up, see, boom, his arm's in the way. If he pulls that shoulder back, right, the centre's open. Okay, so he has to close it. So he's already got his arm nicely in the way. Right, so if I was to touch that, see, and he just puts his hand, he creates a deflection straight off the back. All right? That creates a misdirection of the energy that's hitting him because he's triangled and it glances off. And because he's got his shoulder forward, he gets the reach. And if we're boxing, reach is important, isn't it? Because, yeah, weapons are our hands, not our legs. So, let's go into our stance. So, let's get a nice angle. Make sure you're not leaning back where you can be pushed over. Not leaning over where you can't walk. Nice and centralised. Good work, right. Now, let's go jab cross on the spot. Now we could do it over the front leg. Look at that, one, two. That's fine. So let's do 10 over the front leg, just a natural bounce. Ready, one, two, three. Make sure you push, pull, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, good. Now let's think about moving the feet. So heel, pull. Let's just get that bounce. There we go. See, get that bounce. Just get that natural rock between your feet. That natural look. There's trigger, 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 trigger. This is our timing. This is where the movement's going to come from. So put your guard. We've got our trigger. Right. So now when we jab cross, look the heels up. Jab, like we did at the start. Cross. Guard. Jab. Cross. Guard. See the feet? So, when we jab, the heel on the jab hand is up. When we cross, the heel on the cross hand is up. When we guard, normally, we're going to have the back heel slightly loaded. It doesn't have to be, because we can go to our trigger rather than a static pose. Okay? We shouldn't ever have our weight double weighted at the moment. Alright? It can be a little bit of a flat footed sort of dead man standing pose. So, let's go now jab cross by but loading the feet. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Now we're starting to get the feet. So now when we throw our jab, see? Cross. Go. Start to see that we're starting to see as we step the hill is up, the hip is opening, 
as the power pushes through. So it goes wrong. So this is a nice basic way. It's not the only way. We're learning to time the feet. Look, if Harry was standing in front of me, and I think, cool, his timing's really good. So if every time I step my jab, he slips and punches me in the face, cool. Right, that's not so cool, is it? So I might think, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna walk in. Then throw my punch static without a step. But we've just done jab without a step, haven't we? So now we're going to do jab with a step. So, now we're going to go jab cross with a step. I'm going to go forward. One, go. Two, go. Three, go. Four, go. Five, go. Six, go. Seven, go. Eight. Let's go backwards. One. So see what happens? It moves out. Front foot moves in on the cross. It's very important that you don't do this. Step back, then draw your body straight. Because your range will be massively different. Look, Harry puts his hand there as a target, and then target like a pad. Now I step backwards, there's the shot. Now watch what happens right from here, look. Now watch what happens when I draw my foot in straight. It misses him completely. So when I'm here and I step back, I'm static, so that he pushes into me. My weight was stable. Now like a wave, so it rolls in and over, my cross has to bring my shoulder over. But now I'm at the same range. Then back to go. So I can't go one, which is generally what feels more natural for a lot of people. We go one, roll it over, back to guard. All right, we don't have to worry about bringing the guard up or anything at the moment, because we're working on the punching. So, go. So, we're we'll doing backwards, well, my bad. Right, come forward, Gary. Right, step backwards, jab cross. One, two, and concentrate on making that cross reach. Three. Four, and then bounce, five, there we go, good. Let's send it to the right. So we're going to step, one, there's our jab, and the right was the same as backwards, boom, there's our cross. So let's go to the right, one, two, one, two, guard. Use the guard to get your recovery, it's almost like I'm going to sort myself out. Yeah, have a little movement, adjust my feet, feel comfortable, and then we go again. Now let's go left. Left was the same as going forward. There's the jab. There's the jab. There's the cross. There's the guard, and relax. So, one, two, three. Good. So we've got forward, back, left, right. Let's put it on a four pattern. So we're going to go forward, one, two, go. Right, one, two, go. Back, one, two, go. Left, one, two, go. We got it? Let's try and do that maybe four times. You ready? One, go. Two, go. Three, go. Four, go. One, go. Two, go. Three, go. Four, go. Again, one, two, three, four, again, one, two, three, four, and relax. Stay in your stance. There we go. Get your rock forward and back. Find where your center is, where your stance is. Nice. So, let's look at an option here. Look, put your guard there. Step forward and cover your head. When you cover your head, you've done this with the gloves, you look through the love heart, or you can put your knuckles on your head. Look through the love heart, like binoculars, or knuckles on your head. Normally, when we go front on, love heart, because it can be harder to see, because you're covering your eyes. When you go side on, knuckles. Right? That's normally the rules that I follow. 
But yeah, you'll get people pay people who guard leather. They come up, right? different people, different ways. So let's think about it. If Harry wanted to step into my range without punching me, step in. Right, you see what he does? He covers straight away, and I didn't ask him to. Okay, so that's really good. And he's stable, because if I push him, he's strong. So this is a good option. Now, where we're gonna look at our guard. So let's put our guard. Now we're gonna step forward, and we're gonna just do this, nice and simple. We're gonna step forward, and we're gonna go guard. Now we're gonna step forward, and we're gonna go guard. Now we're gonna step forward and go guard. And again. And again. And again. And again. Now we're gonna go back. Now, make sure the head moves. Think of it like this. If Harry punches me in the head and my foot moves first, my head's still there. So, when he throws that punch, my head's already gone with my foot. See, the head goes whoop, and then the foot goes. So it goes whoop. Now see, my heel's still off. Now I'm loaded to fire. What? If I went back to my heel, and Harry stepped, I'm getting stuck. I can't walk back off. So I need to make sure the heel stays off the floor. And also, as a safety precaution, I'm gonna bring my hand up. Okay, so whoop, see, whoop. But don't go, huh. All the way up there, you go, oh, yeah. Okay, so we've got our stance. We go back, but see how my weight drops? So if he goes to my stomach now, see, boom, bam. We're already in a nice range. So, let's get into our posture, where we was, in our stance. And let's step back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go, awesome. So we could do this now. Let's step forward, up, ping. Forward, up, ping. You see, now we're starting to change the mechanics of how we step and how we punch. But this exercise that we're looking at at the moment is just, I want us to connect our hands and our feet. So let's go back to our front step. So we've gone jab, cross, guard. Now see how my hands went high? Then I relax. So now we're looking at it as an application. Look, Harry's in front of me. I've stepped in at Harry and I've gone jab, cross. He's covered. So I haven't actually hurt him. Jab, cross. Now if I just go, I'm open. So I've gone cross, cover. Now, let's just start again. So I completely forget that he's there. Okay, so now every time we throw our shot, we want to go one, two, cover, relax. So let's go forward. Jab, cross, cover, relax. Again, jab, cross, cover, relax. And use the relax to get yourself comfortable, adjust your stance, find where your feet are, feel where the center is. So let's go again. Jab, cross, cover, relax. Jab, cross, cover, relax. Jab, cross, cover, relax. Jab, cross, cover, relax. So we could do that going backwards. Jab, cross, cover, relax. Because let's look at the application again. Harry's walking me down. He's gone, no, he doesn't even need to punch, he just walks me down. My space is gone. If I'm an in-fighter, I might go boom, boom, and hit him. But if I want to stay on the range, I'm going to hit him on the back foot. Look, it's a spacer. And then boom, hit him again. But if I hit him again, he might step and hit me. So as I finish, get my guard. Then relax and start again. So it's just in the habit of, after we fire a shot, guard, and then relax. Because every time we're inside of the range, for him to strike, so we're in that danger zone, it's probably a good idea to have your hands up. But also, watch what happens. If I go hands up, what's Harry going to do? He's going to hit me low. Ugh. So, if my hands go up, what does my body do? It drops. So when Harry's hands go up, look, his body drops. 
So when I try and punch, just stay where you are, mate, look. My angle is off. You see how that's working? So, now let's do a four pattern. Ready? Forward. One, two, cover, relax. Right. One, two, cover, relax. Back. One, two, cover, relax. Left. One, two, cover, relax. There we go. So now we're starting to put ideas together. All right, so this is a nice start where we're going forward, back, right, left. Using only the one and the two, or the jab and the cross. Making sure that the skeletal alignment is correct, okay? And, right, making sure that our frame sits. Very important that the frame sits. All right, that's if your frame's out, you wouldn't be able to push a wall, would you? Look, if I'm standing in front of Harry, and Harry thinks like he's gonna push a car, look, so he's in a good, strong position, and I'm in a bad one, look, look I'm never gonna win. So we must make sure that if we're gonna put our hands on each other, that we're sitting, sitting holding posture, and staying strong, but without leaning, we have to keep our center line. So you'll notice to keep the center line, then we have to find the floor. Because otherwise I have to lean. Now if Harry moves, I'll fall over, won't I? Okay? So if he starts working and doing all these pivots and his evasion skills and I'm pushing overly heavy, then I'm going to start losing my balance too much. So there's a nice drill for us, yeah? So what I want you to do is try this at home and then what we'll do is we'll keep adding on to it. We'll add some new skills tomorrow or the next day. We're going to keep adding new challenges up. But this is a nice one to start working because it doesn't matter if we play Thai boxing, if we've done Muay Thai and we've gone one and then we went knee, it's the same difference. See, the foot moved. Okay? If we went one and then we went back leg T, it's the same difference. So the understanding of connecting the hands and feet is a very big ask and a very, very huge necessity to prolong your skills and improve your skills from just being average to being great. Um, so let's make sure that we can work on that. And that's a great thing at the moment for us to um, build our skills on, isn't it? So yeah, let's go to that. Cheers, Harry. Stay safe, guys.